What's up guys, Shane here from Fugitech 3D Printing. Today we're gonna to be making bigger coins. So I'm sure if you're into 3D printing, you probably have already seen Angus over at Maker Muse. He went ahead and made his own Maker coin and he put out an awesome tutorial using a online CAD program called Onshape. He walks you through step by step, it's maybe a 20 minute video, but he goes through step by step on how to make your own Maker coin. He uses his logo. I kind of just threw something together real quick since I don't really have a logo but I figured, well, the initials to what I, you know, call my channel, why not? I would uh, give it a shot. So I'm not going to go through how to make it. If you want to, I'll leave a link on how you can go do it yourself via watching Angus's video. So these are the ones I made. As you can see, or if you can see, only two of them are actually in the right orientation. So let's start off with this one. This was my very first one that I made. And if you can see the gloss on it, I actually printed it upside down. So the flat part was up and this all needed support. And yes, my logo was, you know, FT was the correct orientation. It was upside down. So that one was no good. Next one I made was this one. So. The bottom side is flat, that's the shiny part, so that's the part that was on my build plate. I use glass, so you get this nice shiny bottom with PLA. And as you can see here, my logo is backwards. So I don't know what it is with my GTEC printer, but occasionally I go to print something and it's backwards, and it's super annoying. I have something wrong in there. I've been using it for months, and I can usually catch it, or I can you know, just flip the axis using Simplify 3D. But that's, you know, I forgot on this one to double check it. So that printed backwards. That didn't work. Then I did this one here. So you can see the logo is correct, FT. But you can see in the bottom, it shifted. So my bottom few layers shifted on me and it didn't come out quite perfect. The very last layer laid there, but the first two on part of it kind of got shifted over. and. That's just not good. I'm, I'm assuming it's you know a little bit of too much filament came out and with a nozzle drag drug over one of those areas it you know kicked it a little bit and so yeah so there's that one that's totally wrong that's bad. Now we finally have this one so you can see the bottom it's got the shiny that's the bottom for PLA and my logo is correct in this one so you can see the FT so I was really happy with this. This is printed on Hatchbox PLA using a 0.1 layer height. The nozzle is at 200 degrees Celsius. The bed is at 60 degrees Celsius. I'm printing on glass, so there is no paint, or no, I'm sorry, there's no glue, there's no painter's tape, just glass. And it printed magnificently. I believe I used a five or 10% infill with two perimeters which is fantastic. So it's super strong and it turned out marvelous. I'm really happy with it. There's a little bit of support that goes into the bottom of these pieces uh, just because of the way the interior circle is that you create, the, the donut we'll call it, the ring, because your object offsets only the outer cog, that inner one we put in after the fact to kind of give it a little more definition uh, because if it wasn't, it would just cut straight through and that really wouldn't be too terribly awesome. But So here it is, this is your maker coin. Anybody can do this. You can go ahead on on shape. You can watch Angus's video and go you know, along with it. it. Took me about an hour to figure out, you know, watch his video and figure it out myself and actually do it. I feel pretty confident with the program now. I need to do a little bit more with it. I've never used it before. I'm a big Simplify 3D person, um, you know, working on Tinkercad and Onshape seems to be a pretty powerful tool to play with. So that's that one. So now that we have it, you know, this is all fine and dandy. Yeah, we can make some more, but that's not really any fun. What's fun to do is make things bigger. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to blow this up 300% 
and we're going to print it on my GTEC Persa i3 aluminum and we're going to see how that looks. So let's do a time lapse. So here it is, fresh off the plate. Uh, printer's cooled down, and what I love about using the glass is prints just come right off. No scraping off, you don't need a you know anything to pull it off. You just pick it right up and it's fantastic. So the print came out amazing. If you can see some of these layers on here, this just looks spectacular. So this is also printed at a 0.1 layer height, which I should have probably changed, but I did, kind of forgot to. Not a big deal, but it's, I mean, super smooth here. There's a little bit of the, you know, zitting, as some people call it, in a few places, but that's real easy just to pop right off. And up here, you can see there's a little bit of spidering on it. You can see that, you know, the, the stringing, I should say, I mean, it's super fine. I think it was just because it had to do these final, you know, this final few layers, it, it going back and forth, and such a small layer height. You know, 0.1 is pretty small. Most printers can only do 0.1. And I normally print larger uh, objects like this at 0.2, but, you know, not a big deal. So on the back, again, as I said, you need some support. On the small one, you don't need support on the cogs, but on the large one you do. So just take a pair of needle nose and it all just pops right off without a problem. Like I said, this is the this Hashbox PLA is the best stuff ever. I mean I'm gonna do a review on it here eventually, but I mean look at that, that came right off, no problems at all. This under here probably a little bit more, it's a little there's a little more touching the the, the part. But, oh, there's a little piece stuck in there. I'll get that with the X-Acto knife. Get another piece right there on the edge. One here. Oh, that one's a little tough. There it is. Hmm. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble here. All the rest of it came off super easy. Oh, there it goes. Just kind of got to get a good handle on it. One little piece down here, one little piece stuck here. Again, there's just this one piece right up here. And we just kind of need to get out of there. Oh, there it comes. There it goes. So yeah, so, you know, all these stringing here, again, it's super fine. It's not a big deal. If it was a lot of stringing, then I would have known that my heat on my hot end was too high, but this wee little bit is just due to retraction. My retraction is pretty dialed in. I don't really get any type of stringing on most parts. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever gone on any parts. This might be the first one I've ever had that happen on me. And this is also 
one of the largest prints I've done on this printer thus far. And, but cleaning this off takes, you know, probably take me about 10 minutes. Just kind of come in here and scrape off these corners a little bit just to pull that off. But other than that, I mean, you can see this is just an awesome, awesome print. Super great. And let's compare it here to the little one. And there it is. So that came out really nice. Super excited about it. It's gonna be a nice little piece just to have on my desk here. So again, this is all because of Angus's video over on Maker's Muse. I highly suggest you go and check it out. Links below. And you know, make one yourself. Learn, learn a new program. It's, it's great to learn new pieces of technology that are out there. If you're not comfortable with it, if you've never used it before, his video walks you through it step by step. He assumes nothing and it's great. So until then, we'll see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe if you like this. And I hope to have a lot more videos to come your way. We're gonna do a video about my GTEC printer. I've done a lot of modifications to it. I've added parts to it. I'm gonna be adding a cable chain here real soon. So, you know, subscribe, make sure you get all the updates. Take care.